Master, why do you speak in parables whenever a crowd is near? The knowledge of the secrets of the kingdom of God have been given to you. But to others it comes by means of parables, so they may look but not see, and listen but not understand. What do the parables of the Bible hide? The parable of the virgins and the bridegroom. This parable is considered as one of the most important biblical parables related to the movement of Jesus during his second coming to the world. The kingdom of heaven will be like ten virgins who took their lamps and went out to meet the bridegroom. Five of them went foolish and five were wise. The foolish ones took their lamps but did not take any oil with them. The wise ones, however, took oil in jars along with their lamps. The bridegroom was a long time in coming, and they all became drowsy and fell asleep. At midnight, the cry rang out, Here is the bridegroom, come out to meet him. Then all the virgins woke up and trimmed their lamps. The foolish ones said to the wise, Give us some of your oil, our lamps are going out. No, they replied, there may not be enough for both us and you. Instead, go to those who sell oil and buy some for yourselves. But while they were on their way to buy the oil, the bridegroom arrived. The virgins, who were ready, went in with him to the wedding banquet, and the door was shut. Later others came, Lord, Lord, they said, open the door for us. But he replied, truly I tell you, I don't know you. Therefore, keep watch, because you do not know the day or the hour when the Son of Man will come. Every person wants and wishes to meet Christ, glory be to him, during his blessed return, but only few of us will be lucky. At this point, no expression or action will do any good, and the failure is the fate of the losers, who knows nothing about the reality of the kingdom, for what he knows about it came from the mouths of those who only speak profanity and sin, meaning the churchmen who sat in the chair of Christ and forsook what the Father said in the Bible. I say, the parable of the virgins is one of the greatest and most important parables in the Bible, and it is the one that applies the most to our current reality. For the bridegroom that will come is Christ, and the virgins are the believers awaiting him. However, most of those believers are waiting for him in the wrong way, for they are waiting for him to come through the door of the church, built by its sinner fathers, who changed the law of God and made additions to his law that Jesus himself did not do when he established and completed the law in his first coming. It's worth nothing that this parable does not include all the Christians, meaning that not every person who affiliates himself to Christianity will be lucky enough to be among the virgins whom they have waited and anticipated for a long time. The reason is that a lot of them have believed in the traditional church concept, which says that Christ is a king on a cross and that he shall not return to rule the earth and establish the kingdom of God mentioned in the prophecies of the Old Testament and the New Testament. The parable actually only includes the true believers awaiting the coming of Christ. As for the oil mentioned in the parable as being a necessary substance to keep the lamps of the awaiting virgins lit, it refers according to the symbols of wisdom to four main points. Firstly, oil is knowledge and the people awaiting for the moment of meeting him, yet without having enough oil means the lack of any sufficient knowledge that could direct them to the real master from among the false masters. And secondly, oil signifies true religious commitment as per directed by the teachings of the Father, the Son, and the Bible. And perhaps knowledge is smeared by the teachings of the church that misguided the people and claim that the Lord has ruled on a cross, which is the biggest lie made by the church because it closes the door in his blessed face. Thirdly, Oil signifies patience, meaning that those waiting and the oil was depleted do not have enough patience to get through to the time of meeting the blessed returning Son of Man. And finally, the real tracking of the signs, and it means 
that those referred to as virgins in the parable have no ability to track the real signs of times and how Christ will return during the last times and therefore they will lose track and will fall in the trap confusion coupled with the inability to determine the time that shall witness the break of dawn that marks the return of divine Savior. These have fallen asleep so they could not realize Christ, the Son of Man, during his return. And when they shall approach him, he will say that he does not recognize them, and he will only accept those who stayed up and made preparations and offered all what they had. Sleep here does not mean sleep in the actual meaning of the word, as some might imagine. Bible adopts a symbolic language that is suitable for all times, and what actually means is heedlessness and the inability to realize the movement of the master and the unpreparedness to receive the divine savior that the awake eyes have long waited for.